Hey, it's Jake, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make branded content pop using motion graphics from Adobe Stock Assets. I'll walk you through my process of creating this 15 second promo using completely custom motion graphics. And the best part is, I didn't have to animate any of it myself. Let's take a look at what we have to work with. I already have a music track that's been cut down to 15 seconds, which is the total length of this promo. I've also been given a handful of video clips of dancers on colorful backgrounds wearing the headphones, which is perfect for this piece. I have some basic branding elements like a logo, a color palette, and some words that'll describe the product, as well as some 3D renders of the headphones, which look really nice. Now it's up to us to put it all together into an eye-catching sequence, and the best way I know how to do that is through motion graphics, but I'm kind of pressed for time, so let's head over to Adobe Stock and see what kind of templates we have to work with. Now you were probably already aware that Adobe Stock is full of high quality assets like videos, photos, and illustrations, but did you know that we also have access to templates through Adobe Stock, including motion graphics templates or Mogerts, which is exactly what we need for this piece. So I'm just gonna search for a dynamic title and see what comes up. And if I come over to my filters, I can narrow this down to only templates that are compatible with Adobe Premiere Pro, which will bring up a lot of these Mogerts, which I can preview just by hovering my mouse over them. Now, Mogerts are created inside of Adobe After Effects, but they're usable and completely customizable inside of Premiere Pro, which is extremely powerful. I've already spent some time looking through these Mogerts and I landed on this one. I think it's really eye-catching and dynamic. It has media replacement, which means we can plug in custom video clips, we can completely customize the colors, the font, and what the text actually says. So we're gonna be able to do a lot with this template inside of Premiere Pro. Something else we're gonna need in our project is a logo reveal at the end. And I found this other Mogert that I think is gonna work perfectly. And last but not least, I've got this set of animated lines that I found, again, as a Mogert that's completely customizable. We have nine different styles to choose from, and I think these elements are really gonna give us that pop factor we're after and bring a lot of the clips together through some transitions. And one of my favorite features of Adobe Stock is that as soon as I license this, it's gonna show up inside of Premiere Pro and in my libraries panel, so I can start using it right away. So let's jump into Premiere Pro, and here they are. All three of these templates that I licensed are showing up inside of my libraries, as well as the graphics templates panel. So I can grab this first opener and start working on it right away. It'll automatically be brought into my project. And if I play it back, we're gonna see all of these placeholder elements that we can start to customize. Now, customizing these templates is extremely easy. Just select the Mogert and open up your properties panel. And this is where all the custom controls that the artist inside of After Effects set up for us to use inside of Premiere Pro. So we have an images section where we can plug in our custom media. We have text controls to customize all the text in this Mogert, as well as the color controls in this element control section. Why don't we start with that? I'm gonna grab some colors from the branding that we have. So this is the logo and the color palette. I'm gonna use these first two colors, which are these kind of brown and orange colors, and switch them over to this green color. So this bright green, and I don't think it would really look that good to use any of these other colors. So instead, what I'm gonna do is just select the same green and then just make it a little bit darker. And that way, we'll still have that two-tone look, but it goes along with the branding of our promo. Next, let's actually add in a video clip so we don't see this placeholder anymore. I'm gonna just choose one of these dancers with the headphones on, maybe this one right here. And to replace media inside of a Mogert, all you have to do is drag the clip you wanna use or any media into the placeholder image, which is right here. So I'm gonna click and drag this into image one. And as soon as I let go, that's gonna show up inside of the Mogert. And I can play it back again and see it in motion. And we're already on our way to customizing this promo to fit our brand. But the dancer isn't really doing much at the beginning of this clip. So let's take a look at some of the controls we have. Besides being able to shift this clip around and scale it up and down, we can also change the end point. So if I click and drag this, I can choose a different starting point just by moving that in value. Now we've got a little bit more expression at the beginning of our promo, and I think that fits the vibe of the entire piece a little bit better. If you need to be even more precise, you can double click on this thumbnail and it will open up the source sequence so you can not only be extremely precise with the timing, but also layer up more tracks if you need to inside of this media source. 
but I think we're fine where we are. So I'm just gonna close out of that and fill out the other media replacement slots with other dancers as well as some of these product renders. All right, we've got a bunch of different clips in this Mogurt now. Let's customize the text to say what we need it to and look the way we need it to. So let's go into the text controls now, and I'm gonna go into text one, and we're gonna use our first buzzword, which is simply just bold. And I'm gonna change the font as well to one called Quasimoda, and I'm gonna use the extra bold version and increase the size up to maybe 200 so that it's big and bold just like it says. And I'll just do that same process to change out all of the other text. Now, right at this point of the sequence, I wanna split this Mogurt and move this part of it forward so that we can feature some of the 3D product renders, which if you're interested in learning how I created these, I have a tutorial over on my channel, Jake in Motion, showing you exactly how to do that inside of After Effects using the advanced 3D render engine. So go check that out if you wanna learn. But I'm gonna layer in these two clips in the sequence and I wanna align them to the snare hits of the music track. So let's play this back and listen for it. Right there, that snare. At that point, that's where I wanna cut away to the next clip. So I'm just gonna move this one forward and we can retime this with the slip tool. So I'll grab that and then just move this around so that we get that nice dynamic spin right at the front end of the clip. Great, and then on this second snare hit, that's where I wanna cut back to this Mogurt. So I'm just gonna bring that back and we can play this through one more time. Great, that works really well with the music. Now, another thing that I really like about this Mogurt are these flashes that are happening at the transitions between clips. So I just wanna quickly recreate that over top of these renders, which we can do really simply just by adding a rectangle and keyframing the opacity. So I'm gonna come up to the Graphics and Titles menu, down to New Layer, and say Rectangle. Now in the Properties panel, I can customize this so that it's pure white and I can make it the same size as my sequence with the width and height control. So I'll make it 1920 by 1080 so it fills the entire frame and I'll zoom in here a little bit with the plus key and then move forward just maybe three or four frames and that's where I wanna trim the out point too. So I'll just drag that back to that point and this bar right here, by default, this is gonna be the opacity of this particular clip. So I'm gonna hold down Control or Command to temporarily switch to adding a keyframe and click at the beginning of this clip. And then again, hold down Control or Command on a Mac and click and drag this down to 0%. So that's just going to quickly fade out and we've recreated that exact same flash effect. And then I just need to copy and paste this over the next clip, align to that endpoint, and now we have that same flash transition on those two product renders, and it just brings the whole piece together a little bit better. Another really great thing about Mogurts is that they are responsive to the in and out points and they'll automatically retime based on where you stretch them to. And that's really good for me because I need my logo reveal to happen right about here so that this piece can stop at 15 seconds. That's the maximum duration I have to work with. And to make sure I get that timing just right, let's go ahead and bring out our logo reveal Mogurt. And I'm just gonna lay that on the next track. Now this logo reveal has a lot of dead space at the beginning and the end, and it's a lot longer than I need it to be. So I'm gonna retime this as well, just by clicking and dragging on the out point so it's much shorter. So I need this to end at 15 seconds. I'm gonna move the out point right there. And I want the logos to come in at a specific point in the music, so let's listen for it right there, so right at this point. This is where I wanna see the animation beginning. So I'm just gonna stretch this out until we first start to see that motion, which is right about there. I don't need anything before that, so I'm just gonna trim off that part of the Mogurt, and this is where it will start. Now let's stick that logo in this Mogurt. I'll go to the Properties panel, into the Logo section, and that is where I need to drag this media replacement. And it's getting cropped off a bit, so I need to go into the options here and scale this down so it fits in the frame a little bit more nicely. I also wanna make sure that I can see the color and we have a checkbox to override the color control. I'm going to uncheck that so we get our original colors back. And I'm gonna change some of the styling controls. I don't think we need any grain. I wanna keep it a little cleaner. So that's all I really need to do there. I just need to fill out the rest of these media replacement slots with clips of the dancers wearing the headphones. All right, I've got my logo reveal set. Now I just need to change the timing of this Mogurt so that it fits within this space and ends where it needs to. So again, I'm just gonna click and drag this out point and that's all I have to do to get it to fit. Let's just take a look and see how it actually plays back. 
All right, so it's a faster pace, but I think it fits the end of the piece really well, and it ends right where we need it to at 15 seconds. So we've built our entire sequence, and there's just one final element that'll be the cherry on top, which is those animated lines that we can use to tie everything together. So let's go to the start of our sequence, and I'll drag this right out to the beginning. We have nine different styles to choose from, color controls and style controls. Now, I don't think that we need this glow on the elements. It doesn't really fit the rest of the piece and the style. So I'm gonna just turn that all the way down and then change up these colors to fit the brand. I really like the number two style for this opening because it's swirling out and opening up as we see the start of our piece. Now I'm just gonna kind of play through the sequence and feel where these elements would fit best and change which style I use so that it doesn't look like I'm repeating the same elements over and over again. It gives variety and uniqueness to each transition. But with just a little bit of work, we've really been able to make this entire piece pop with custom motion graphics from Adobe Stock templates. Head to Adobe Stock to elevate your creative projects and make your content stand out. And subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud to stay on top of all the exciting new Adobe product features and updates.